so many times it looks like throwback hardpoint at the end there is gonna be a real hot topic if we get there but up first was hardpoint retaliation favoring tainted minds a little bit for this first map miles yeah i think i mean we saw mind freak winning these maps before but the hardpoint games they've basically been falling into mind freak's laps pretty comfortably tainted are never far behind but it's just that it's that mind freak open up the gates so well and then it's just difficult for tainted minds to catch up after that we already saw tainted minds win one hardpoint retaliation against mind freak josh can they do it again i mean <laughs> you've said it they've done it once before they can definitely do it again we're getting this series underway mind freak I think all eyes are on them. You know, we probably expect that if they were going to be the winners going into the uh, to the grand final from winners brackets final. We usually say those lines, and now we get a chance. It kind of feels like, in a way, Miles, that that the first series was the winners bracket final. This is the kind of position Mind Freak would usually be in. They get a win. Now they're here in the real grand final. You know, this isn't kind of any kind of alternate dimension where Tainer Miles actually gets the jump. Credit to Tainted Minds, they got that first series, but they're going for one hell of a choke. This is the kind of stuff not even a tracheotomy can fix. Oh my lord, that's a oh. bit of a word. Oh my good golly. Mr. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> game, <laughs> one <got> you. <laughs> game one of the second best of five is about to begin. TM versus MF. It's interesting to note, Josh, as you said, you know, it's very familiar, unfamiliar territory for Mindfreak to be in the loser's bracket. And now they're very much back on their home turf. They're back here now in the winner's bracket. Uh, you know, it's, it's all good for them. Grand finals has been a bit of a roller coaster thus far, but this is all smooth sailing, I think, for Mindfreak. We'll see just how this one goes down. And let's face it, guys, it's been an absolute slobber knocker so far. MF defying all the laws of physics, coming back through a, a loser's bracket run after being sent there by their opponents now. And look, on your screen, the players from Mind Freak ready to do it all again. Once more onto the breach, dear friends. Once more, we'll fill up the walls with our Mind Freak dead. Mind Freak look, I would say, more composed as we look through those cams and see both of the teams ready to rock and roll. Mind Freak very much concentrated. Tainted Mind's a little more jumpy, but maybe that's because they're full of beans to get in here and rip into Mind Freak once more. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the final best of five at CWL Sydney Open 1, presented by PS4. Let's get into the action. We're going to kick it off with Excite. Why? Because he deserves it. He's going to get one of the first kills here for Mind Freak. After Shock picked up the first, returning fire back and forth, and here's Excite getting two, and they've got some points on the board after Tainted Mind's get the jump. Uh, spawns are going to be flipped, but you can see here, obviously, Mind Freak still getting the very little lead. And Excite finally shut down there. It shocks and fight and a hold down the hard point against the Tainted Minds on Spawn. Oh, my gentle Jesus. This game is kicking off without, it's, you know, it's, no, it's going in with no loop, Josh. It's absolutely wild so far. Excite going ham. Shock's also doing things. And look at that. that what, what was that? A, um, that was a stun grenade. I, that was unheard of. I don't know, but Tainer Mines is definitely biting the pillows. Mind Freak going in very hard here. Zeus trying to get control of this hard point for the Tainer Mines squad. Dent got market as we're going to be setting up for this next rotation here in just a second. Mind Freak off the spawn. Tainer Mines still racking off the points here. We're going to be looking at Excite with some exciting gameplay. 4 2 is the score. He's going to be taken down. Buzzo here, only one point. He's on the breadstick trying to make it two. Can he get it? There's going to be a player dense around him. Oh, he does turn on that player there. Zeus with a long kiss goodnight. Well, at least for a few seconds before he spawns again. Damage is going to be down here on the lowest on the low street for Tender Mines. And they do have the very early lead here after this rotation. Oh, Damage finally able to clean that kill up. I was hoping to see a, a couple of points really coming up on the board there. Letting him know that he killed that player. Fighter and Excite getting two in the back corner. It looks like Mind Freak now. The Phoenix reborn. They've come from the ashes. The lower bracket is but a thing of the past. And now we're here in this second series, this second best of five. And already things are looking up for the boys in blue. TM, though, not letting this one go down without a fight. They're currently in the lead by 30. They've got their setup for the next rotation. Spawns are looking friendly for them. And it is going to jump over towards the church, towards the cathedral, rather. It's way bigger than the church. A couple of kills in the on the board for the boys in green. Mind Freak now on the respawn and as i said it is a very very com comfortable looking hard point for taking their minds already josh it is indeed we're over onto those graves that grave hard point or the cathedral i speak all languages here in call of duty nimble's going to be dropped fighter and buzzo both going to be picking up kills but just like that damage and dead the double d whopping combo coming at you to take down excite 
And another player there from Mind Freak as Tenemite still racking up points here. And after, you know, we're still in the first rotation, Tenemites are about to be a full minute ahead. They are not mucking around getting into this second series here, Miles. I actually didn't see this one coming. I had a bit more of a Mind Freak heavy favor going into this one. But again, as you can see, Mind Freak not without oh. a fight, but Zeus getting two in a row. Beautiful slide there. Coming in off the kills. Can he make it a 30? Can't shocks. Just a little bit too strong for him. And now Dane's going eight and six with 38 seconds of hard point time to his name. Unbelievable turn on fighter there. He actually double checked him there to make sure he was a friend or a foe. And he managed to make the right call in the end and kill him just before the drop shot happened. Still on board with Zeus now. 80 to 36, TM in the lead. Mind freak though, climbing back into this one very, very carefully. That next hard point is gonna spell doom for the boys in blue unless they can make something happen here. This is a huge one. Still on board with fighter. Shots out from fighter, gorgeous long range kill there. The broken now, destroyed building rather, is gonna be the next hard point. And uh, now we've already got a lot of time to paint it here. This is still fighter trying to make something happen. If he can infiltrate this play, he doesn't manage to make it nimble. He tripped the sensors, and there you see nimble not falling for that one. Den's getting a kill damage and nimble a piece as well. Josh, it's absolute pandemonium here. It is pandemonium, and as ten of mines hit triple digits, I'd love to see what mind freak, mind freak rather, are thinking. So thanks to Astro, let's go into our first listening of this new grand final. Series. <laughs> Mind Freak's communication on point, but not enough to shake the Tainted Minds grasp they've got on this game. 130 to 83. Tainted Minds still looking damn fine in this one. Damage. Big player for his team. He's doing a ton of work. 17 for 13 with a ton of time as well. Josh, where's it going wrong for Mind Freak? They were looking so good on the hard points earlier. They were looking so good. It's good to hear their comms are still on point. Tainted Minds, however, have quite a healthy lead. Once again, thanks to Astro, I'd like to go with a listen in just to see what kind of auction style Tainer Mines have gone through with their calls this time. Yeah, I did, is that the front car? Main car there? Uh, I got, 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 I got
That's a whole lot of excitement from Tanner Myers. You can see why they're just over 20 seconds away from victory. But three down right there. But they're set up for the rotation. You can see there. Mind Freak players are going to be just in front of damage. So great positioning by them. But damage, he's going to have to jump for this kill as it rotates. And you can see smart boot move by not diving straight in. Instead, he's going to try and set it up for his team. And he's got the mad flank here. There's going to be a Mind Freak player just in front. But all this might be for Nord. Is he's actually going to be mowed down there. And after all that, all the hype for that play, it's actually Mind Freak are now going to hold down Broken. It's got a hell of a mountain to climb though, Josh. 227 attempted. Mine's only 250 to win this one and take the lead here in this final series. 142 and climbing. Mind Freak not out of this yet. Climbing indeed. And although few and far between, there have been a few that have conquered Everest. And My Mind Freak may do just that they are really warming up here buzzo is going to have that payload ready excite and the rest of the team are definitely starting to warm up and as you can see here excite as well is definitely going to be one of them fighter two kills but excite on the five kill make a six kill streak and he's fully streaked out could this be a crazy comeback just like they did with the entire last series we talked about a colossal choke letting the whole series go but this just adds insult to injury if they lose the hard point now after such a lead already hotel hallway is looking a little bit green but i don't think for very long incoming mind freak now excite getting tagged up he still has all these kill streaks in his back pocket. Those will be coming out any moment now. This is a huge play for him. Caught nimble nap in there. Gets a big kill. And now 27 and 19 and eight in a row for Excite. He finally goes down, but not without leaving a very serious mark in the back of Tainted Mines. Mind Freak have got so much time here in the hotel hallway. Shock is hot, holding it down. He's got that active camo play. You've got the payload you need, Miles. You've got the streaks you need. Buzzo's picking up kills as well. Fighters on a four, make it five kill streak. This is going to be more. More score streaks coming in as well. They just need to utilize them effectively. They need to get out of the hallway so they can use them. They're still racking up points. They've hit 200 or just about their one point off with 10 seconds left in the hallway. When we rotate back outside, I'm predicting my freak to potentially come back in a massive way against the green machine of Tainted Mines. Here we go, new hard point, and now you're gonna see the streaks come out from Excite. Shock's picking up Dens in the background, Zeus firing back, but Buzzo's there as well. My freak racking up points, there's gonna be 20 points between them. He, Excite and Shock's, they're gonna be working together. You can see Fighter's gonna have that Scarab, he used his Trinity Rocket a little earlier. My freak still going here, 217 in climbing. Tainted Mines, they had the lead for so long, and my freak are trying to do the impossible as they already did in that first series. Excite, Buzzo, Shocks, they are the triple team right here against Tainted Mines. They will be the kryptonite. You think Tainted Mines are green? Mind Freak are bringing it out. They've got the lead in what may be the final seconds here. They can lock it down and bridge. 10 seconds to go and Mind Freak are going to do the impossible. Shocks, here's here with Excite. Excite, two kills, three kill streak for Buzzo. Mind Freak looking it down right here and they pull off one of the most amazing hard point comebacks you will ever see in Call of Duty. What an insane game from the premier team here in the Asia Pacific region. Tina Mines, take that, they say. I, I had my notes written out in that, like, ah, uh, the, you know, don't worry, Mind Freak. First map, you went down to Tainted Mines. Mines. You're gonna come into the search and destroy Scorch as the favorites. That was a 120 points Mind Freak were on when Tainted Mines Mines got up to 220. I almost can't believe we just saw that. The fact that Mind Freak were able to constantly contest that lobby 